hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial i will show you how i created this beautiful popcorn animation in 3ds max and type flow so let's get started so first i have a pan model and a seed cone seed model and of course a cone model okay i am working in unit centimeters so centimeters one unit is equal to one centimeter okay first of all i will create a type flow and then type icon i need it to in circle 20 centimeter radius right center of the pan and above the 30 centimeter 30 centimeter above the pan okay now i will jump into the type flow editor now first of all i want to generate these seeds and drop it into the pan so i will add birth operator position icon and i will pick our tie icon display to the geometry so we are generating some particles in our tie icon okay now i will add a shape operator and i will select my cone seed okay sometime um, we have this issue in tie flow and we are not generating and showing our actual mesh so we will go into select our mesh and go into the reset x form and select reselected and we are good to go okay now we are generating our tie oh, sorry now we are generating our seeds and uh, we want it to drop so we i will add a physics shape now they are dropping and they are dropping and they are dropping and they are dropping they are not stopping so i want it to stop right after 10 frame and i want total 200 particles it's good okay we have the same shape size and uh, angle for our seeds uh, so and uh, they, they don't look natural in this way so we want some randomization i will add scale make it uniform and scale variation to 40 i guess so we it's look more natural with different sizes i will add a rotation yeah now they look very natural okay now you can see they are dropping right in our surface not in pan so we will add a physics collision because we want the to collide these particles with our pan so i will select my pan so now you can see they are ab colliding above the pan not under in the pan so i will change my whole type into the mesh yeah now they are look good okay now i want it when we are reached by 25 frames they will pop into popcorn so i will add time test greater or equal test type particle when particle reached by 25 frame zero one variation they will pop into the popcorn so i will add speed this and I will change select this so when our particle age is equal to 25 frame then we will jump into the second event look we are changing our particles uh, color so now I will add shape and I want the our seeds to change into the 
our popcorn so i have select popcorn and i am getting the same issue again so i will select popcorn go into the utilities the reset x form reset selected and we are good to go okay now they are changing one by one so we with speed i will go into the and select uh, direction to the particle z and uh, i will add uh, this magnitude to 5 cm and uh, variation 15 is okay now they are popping and converting it into the pop cones yeah okay now i will add the physics physics shape so they can collide with each other and i will add a physics collision and i will select pan so they can into the pan physics collision and i will change it to the mesh okay now they are popping into the popcorn and they are in the pan okay now i will add mesh operator so we can render them okay so this is my basic light setup i have a background i have a, a one camera at the top one camera which is following the line which is animating a uh, rotation and i have one light with one multiplier one multiplier pure white and second light is also one multiplier pure white okay so now we will go into the materials i have this material for popcorn and seed i will select our tie flow and i will add this assign this material to that now we have our material into the particles yeah okay we have also a material for our background almost black gray with 0.75 glossiness and our background for this is for pan and we have added some noise to the bump map and this is for background same settings without bump map okay now I will select in type flow and I will go to the main settings and I will add frame 1 by 8 or 1 by 4 I will go with 1 by 8 okay now for some slow time I will decrease its space by 40 percent I guess yeah now they are looking very nice look yeah they are looking very nice thank you for watching my tutorial I hope you like it if you like it please consider subscribing my youtube channel and i will update more videos like this thank you